Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company Beauty Forever Hair. Of course, I'm gonna make sure to leave all the details down below in the description area. But today I'm gonna to be showcasing another Bye Bye Knots wig. This one is their seven by five water wave wig. And this one is in the length 24 inches. This is what it looks like straight out of the box. The waves on this are looking really pretty. And it does come with your pre-cut lace. It also has your pre-bleached knots. You also have a pre-plugged hairline. Now you don't get any combs on the side, but you do get a comb in the back, your adjustable strap, and you also get the area for the removable elastic band. I did wash my unit using my Aussie Moist Shampoo and Conditioner. And if you go back and look at what it looked like straight out of the package, you can see that the waves had like a slight sheen to it, but now it has more of a natural sheen to it after everything has dried down. I don't have any product in it yet. I went ahead and added that removable elastic band, and now I'm just going to place this on my head, just making sure that everything is meeting up on the side by my ear. And that is what the front of the hairline is looking like. I feel like I just need to cut off a very little amount of lace, but so far it looks like everything is going to blend in well. From extra security, I'm adding a bobby pin on each side. That way I can make sure that this wig doesn't slip and slide because this is an average cap size and on the website it's a 22 to 22 and a half but your girl has a small head. But let's get into this parting space area. I feel like the parting space is so on point. It is a great amount of parting, so if you wanted to do a deep side part, you could. If you wanted to just keep it in the middle, you can. And I feel like the knots on this are bleach really well. I will be rocking a middle part today. I'm adding some of my olive oil mousse to the very top part just so everything can lay down really nice and flat. Also making sure to place some of that hair towards the back so that I don't have to worry about any of my tracks showing. I'm also going to be adding some mousse to the very front of the hairline. As you guys can see, this is going to be a glueless install. Now I will be adding just like a little bit of swoops and just kind of playing around and seeing exactly how I want it to be. I'm not going to go in and cut any baby hairs or anything. I'm happy with how the front of this looks. I'm gonna take this elastic band and tie it around the front so everything can dry down while I am working on styling this hair. After diffusing the hair, I went ahead and did my makeup off of camera. Now it's time to remove this elastic band. And I wanted the front of the hairline to show just a little bit more. So I went ahead and added a little bit of wax and I'm gonna use my hot comb to lightly press it back. I'm still gonna end up fixing it up because I still want it to be just a little bit more open. And I didn't wanna to add too much wax to the front because I don't want it to come off too heavy. And then I am going to hot comb the back a little bit just to make sure that there's no humps and lumps going on. And then this is what the hair is looking like before I decide to fluff it up. Gonna be using a little bit of my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum. This is going to help kind of control any frizziness and flyaways, but I'm not gonna fluff it up too much because I do like the way the wave pattern looks right now. 
the front of the hairline to show a bit more i'm gonna go in with a little bit of my mousse and i'm gonna put it on this edge brush and just kind of brush the hair back into place and just kind of pinch it with my fingers and you can see the slight difference from that side to the other side i just feel like this helps and of course because i did use mousse at the top it's just going to help blend it in once i'm done brushing that all back i'm going to use my blow dryer just to speed up that drying process you can leave the parting space alone because I feel like it looks good, but I do want to brighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to go in with some of my powder just right down the middle. And guys, this is the final look. The hair came all together. I just love the way that this water wave texture looks. And then I'm going to turn around so you guys can see how nice and full it is. I could have dried down the back <laughs> just a little bit more, but overall it's dried enough and then this is what it looks like when i stand up i am only 5'2 the front of the hairline looks really good and of course it was an easy glueless install but guys make sure you stay tuned after this to hear my final thoughts when it comes to this unit to be perfect for the spring and summertime waterway hair is is just so gorgeous when everything is dried down it always gives off vacation vibes you're going near water you're wearing a cute little two-piece linen suit it just gives that off now the waves definitely came to life press and made flawless curls because i wanted light waves and it definitely did the job and it did take me a little while to diffuse this down because i did spray a lot of water in this hair because i washed it a few days ago and i just set it on the towel to kind of air dry and it got really frizzy so i wanted to make sure just everything came together but it turned out really pretty definitely wanted to focus a lot on the ends because even now the ends are frizzy you go in with like some mousse or something to define this a little bit more something that has like frizz control it probably won't be as frizzy um, and also it is a little bit dry. So that's another thing with water wave hair. You are gonna have to give it some TLC because it will dry out really quickly. Add in a little bit of my Sleek and Shine Serum. I did not fluff up the hair too much because I feel like the density on this already looks nice. So I didn't want it to come off even more frizzier. I am noticing a little bit of flyaways at the top, but because of the slight frizziness going on and everything, I just feel like it looks a little bit natural. It's not doing too much. It's not enough for me to get annoyed because y'all know, I will tell y'all when the flyaways are just overbearing. Also a glueless install. So I went around the front of the hairline with that mousse. I bobby pinned the sides down for just some extra security. And the lace on this lay down perfectly. I didn't have to go in and do any tinting. And then also they bleach the knots so good that everything looks like scalp. I feel like Beauty Forever does a really good job with bleaching their knots and just making sure everything blends down good. So yeah, and then the hairline is already pre-plucked. I did kind of focus on the front a little bit more towards the end because I wanted to push it back. So you guys could see the hairline a little bit better. It adjusts my straps all the way. I also put on the removable elastic band and I tighten it up. And unfortunately, right back here, I have too much cap left. Now it's crazy because everything fits well up here. This is all laying down really nice and flat, but just back in this area, like the cap is kind of bunched up a little bit. But because of the density on this, luckily you guys cannot tell. And I would prefer my cap to be kind of bunched up back here than to be bunched up at the top because ain't no hiding that at all. But this is cute. I did get a little bit of shedding during the styling process. The tangles, I do expect some to go on because I am getting some in the nape area. When I turn around and just kind of fluff the hair, I can already tell it was going to happen. So like I said, you are gonna have to make sure to maintain and refresh this baby but you can't just treat this one no any old type of way you are gonna have to give it some love if you are feeling this unit i am gonna make sure to leave a link down below in the description area do not forget to subscribe to my channel turn those notifications on share and like this video see you guys next time bye guys